I'm sorry. Okay, that's we it. I think we, we are like a, live. We should make like a theo cook dance. Oh, Lucas is here. Oh, hi, Lucas. You ready? You ready? You ready? Hey! Hey, everyone. Welcome to another live cook along, which is like our, what, 700th? Seven, well, it's not that much. No. Um, so, this is really cool today. So, we're going to be making an upside down chicken pie. So make sure you've got your ovens on, 200 degrees. That's a good thing to do now. Um, so we've had a, a load of people been getting in touch and uh, we've had a load of stuff happening. I wanted to check because we have invested in a mic because we had some people, especially yeah, the mic. YouTube right. channel, saying they couldn't hear us well. So if you're on YouTube watching this now, so I'm looking in this direction, um, can you hear us basically? Can you hear us? If you can, throw a quick comment on just to let us know we've got sound going through. We should have. I'm waiting for my lucky cameraman, aka the missus, to give us a heads up. Nothing. I'm getting nothing from her. So I don't know. Can anyone hear us on YouTube? Yes, we can. We're a lot. Okay, good. Um, right. So upside down chicken pie. Well, I always thought it was upside down because okay. like, the pastry was at the bottom, okay. and then we would have like. Okay. Let's get on with it. I reckon. Um, so I'm going to run through the ingredients that you need and there's a couple of optional extras if you want. Um, so we've got some ready-made puff pastry, okay? It's pre-rolled as well, um, but we've got that. We have about uh, two, three hundred grams of chicken, raw chicken. Uh, a load of people messaged and said, could we use, um, can we, are we doing cooked chicken? Look, either or, doesn't matter. We're going from scratch with raw chicken and it's just diced up into small chunks. We have a tin of chicken soup. Um, and I also had, a, we had loads of messages about this one. It's been great, actually. Um, so some people said you couldn't get chicken soup. Can I use cream? Can I use something else? Yes, you can. If you haven't got chicken soup, um, cream will work great. Uh, might be worth you adding a stock cube to that or something, okay? Um, but tin of chicken soup. We have uh, clove of garlic diced up about one onion chopped up and depending I said if you want uh, mushrooms you know chicken and mushroom or broccoli we're going to put they both in plain. no you can have them both either no. and so we're mixing both in this one so you should have them um, optional extras of oh, poor thing uh, optional extras if you've got any flour that's quite good um, but don't worry if you haven't because we're going to put that into the chicken to help thicken it. Um, but if you haven't got flour, it doesn't matter. We're not gonna use flour, just for you guys. Um, so look, the first thing I want us to do- Is wash your hands. Yeah, up. So kids at home, that's my dad, well done. All you kids watching right now, if you've washed your hands, shout out as loud as you can. You have my authority to scream, shout out, yes chef! Nothing. Yes, Chef? Oh, right, yes, Chef. Okay, good. Right, oh, and we've got a load of people to say hello to today. Oh, hold on a minute. I noticed those two names. So, Rosie Tucker. All right, Rosie. You know Rosie. Oh, Rosie Tucker, hi. Hi. Um, uh, oh, we've got Charlotte hi, Mason. Amazing. Hi, Charlotte. I hope you're being good. This Charlotte is like the blonde version of you, isn't she? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, good to see you guys. Hi, Hannah. Hi, Pete. Uh, oh, and we've got a special one today as well because we're in Newcastle Underline. We have Belle, who's nine years old today. Happy birthday, happy Belle. Birthday. And I think Jacob, your brother, might be with you as well. So, happy oh, birthday to you. Belle and hello, Jacob. Um, right, let's get things moving. So, number one job, parents, turn your oven on. I want it at 200 degrees, please. Go do that. Well, are we making our own chicken pie or are we just making like a room? Well, you're going to find out. Next thing, I want a saucepan like this. And because we're going to we're going to cheat with this chicken pie and we've got this cream of chicken soup, I want you to pour half a tin into the saucepan, okay? So I'll open That's that. Good job. So it's quite thick already, you want about really half a tin. Half. So can you pour half that tin into there, please? Mm -hmm. 
Mm, fraction more, maybe. A bit more, maybe. Mm, you've gone past halfway. No, that's good. So we've got about half. Yep. Yeah. Here. Um, so chicken soup in our pot there. Now, to help thicken this, and this is the point I mentioned about the flour, if you've got flour, you can maybe skip this part if you want, and you can just put a couple tablespoons on your chicken. I didn't mention it in the ingredients. I forgot, sorry. So we're not gonna use it. So we're gonna reduce our chicken soup. So put that on the heat. Now, and we're just gonna let that simmer in the background. Parents, don't forget it, okay? Don't burn it. We're just gonna let it cook away to reduce a little bit to thicken it. Right, next up, we have our frying pan no. here. Ah, a little note on safety as well, right? Kids, do as your parents say, okay? Do as I say as well. And do as I say. don't touch the pans. These bits, they get hot, and don't touch the hob, it I gets hot. Touch this. That's right. Okay, uh, the first, now we've got the chicken cooking away. The first job I want you to do is get your pastry out before we do anything else. Okay, so roll it out. Please, you can hold it. Yeah, so we're just going to roll it out flat. Roll, 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 roll. Okay, right, hold on a minute. Let's just turn that down. Mm -hmm. I love to say like pastry. Okay, so Eva. Yep. We should have a knife, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so we've got our pastry uh, here, so let's just show everyone. If we have flour, when do we use it? Oh, if you have flour, put a tablespoon of flour on top of your raw or cooked chicken. Okay, just put it on top of there and that will mix in when we cook. Um, right, so we've got our ready rolled pastry here, puff pastry. It's got to be puff pastry, by the way. Um, if you've got it in a ball, roll it out to like three mil thick, about the thickness of a pound coin. Once you've done that, Got a knife, and what we're going to do, give us that, Eva? Yeah. What we're going to do we're is doing? cut this into squares. So we're doing a family of four, five. and that means. Oh, yeah. We've got five. We've got a family of five. <laughs> I've totally forgotten. <laughs> um, so. Five. Right, let me move you here, actually. Yeah. Okay. No, so um, basically, we're going to cut this into squares, and you need two squares per person. Got it? Well, we're going to do that because they're huge. I know, so what we're going to do... Well, I've already done one, we're going to show you one later on. Um, so, that can be yours? Yes. So, let's say a quick hello as well. So, we've got Isabella and Jody in Italy. Yeah, scusi settimana freddo. And we've got Maisie Nine in Warwick. Amazing. Hi, everyone. Hi, Italy. Hello. Right, so let's cut this into um, eight pieces. Okay. Eight, okay. I so, can do that, I can, um, maybe that's a bit too, yeah. I, I, I think I know what to do. Well let's just cut it into, yeah, do, do uh, three like that, do three, do three. Should I do two? No, or just cut it into three do... lines. Two. Just cut, what about uh, right, let's make it really complicated. Right, everyone at home, you want two squares per person. So let's just cut down. Oh, alright, I get okay. three then. Yeah. Now I get it. Good. And then I'm going to cut across exactly. again. I know you do, honey. All right. You could use pastry cutters for this. Okay, cut across. Yeah. Yep. This is. Watch your fingers. Come on, quicker. Okay, right. So you've basically got squares that look like this, okay? Or circles that are roughly the same size. Now, this is what I want you to do. Get a baking tray. Baking tray. Are we making a Hold on. So let's move this out of the way. Get a little cup of water, okay? Mm -hmm. So we've just got some cold water in here. And what I want you to do, right Eva, stop some stuff, I just want to run through so everyone doesn't get this bit mm -hmm. bubbled up at all. Don't forget your chicken soup, check it, low temperature, just bubbling away gently. Okay, 
What you're going to do at home is this, you're going to get one square, okay? If you've got a pastry brush, use it, great. If not, kids, this is for you now. Get your fingers, dip it in some water, and rub it over the top of that pastry. Okay, either you do one at the same time as me. Mm -hmm. yep. so get that, dip your fingers in there, rub it over the top of the pastry. You don't want it soaking, but you want it wet. Put that on your baking tray. So when you're done, put that down. Okay, now get another square. So grab another square. Mm -hmm. Yep, and put that on top of the other one, like that. Okay, yep. just give it a little pat. Let's move this out of the way so everyone can see. Check your soup, don't forget it parents. If it's looking a bit done, you can turn the soup off if it's getting quite thick. Okay, so pat it down, not a lot, you don't need to squash it, just make sure they're sort of together. Put it on your tray, a little bit of space, these are going to expand, so keep the distance, and do the rest of them. Okay. Oh, let's grab that. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to bake these in the oven. Oh, we're having that one, eh? Which one are you Okay. Right, put them down. Uh, one uh, put that on there. Put that on there. Um, if you've got some egg and you want to make an egg wash, you can do that. You can cook them without. Um, we're going to get a little bit of milk now. So get rid of the water in the cup. A little splash of milk. If you've, again, if you've got a pastry brush, use that. Otherwise, kids, dip your fingers in the milk and just give it a little wipe over the top. Okay, let's do that really quick. And that one. Yep, done. Right, now we're gonna pop this in the oven for about 18 to 20 <laughs> minutes. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it comes out now. So in about 18 or 20 minutes, you're going to get something that looks like that, okay? And we're going to do something with it for our pie. So we're going to leave that to one side for a moment. Right, now for our filling. Let's get this bit going. Let's do this. So one frying pan. Get this nice and warm. Kids at home, remember, that bit is the safe bit. This bit you never touch, okay? So frying pan on the heat. Eva, yes. throw a little splash of olive oil into that pan. Don't tell me that's enough, that's enough. <laughs> okay, now to that we've got some diced onions. So, just throw them in. Yep, yeah, gently, nice and low. How long pastry in the oven? So the pastry goes into the oven for about 18 to 20 minutes at 200 degrees, okay? So keep an eye on it. Perfect. Right, I think you had a... I had a spoon, then spoon. I had a spoon run away. Okay, so we've got some onions in a pan with some olive oil. Right, how do you control a pan? Right, one arm, kids, one hand holds the pan, the other one does the stirring. Right, once you've mixed it, leave it, let it rest, okay? They've just got to cook for a bit, the onions, so just leave them. Yes. Okay, let's put that there. Right. So we want to put some stuff of our pie. We've got some mushrooms, which I've already cut up. Um, you can rip these up, kids, you can cut them. And we're going to put some broccoli in it. So either rip off of the florets. So let's just show everyone at home. You've got these head of broccoli, regular broccoli. Just grab one, pull it off. And do that, pull off a few, a few of them. So one per person, so five. Pardon? <laughs> Eva's freaked out because we bought some organic broccoli and basically found a caterpillar in it. And ever since then, she's like, I'm never eating organic again. One caterpillar. It's fine. Loads. Okay, that's good. That's good. Rip that off. Great. Okay, kids, Joe, you've ripped a load off. Now, 
If you're happy with your kids using a knife, now's the time that you cut these again in half. Or parents, you can do that. Eva, you can do that. Mm -hmm. Right, and let's just show the kids one, one good uh, way to do it. Is we do something called the, uh, the bridge. Okay, so your fingers like that makes a bridge. Over that, the knife goes inside the bridge like a choo-choo train and cut down. Okay, so that's quite a nice way for kids to do it. Right, Eva, cut me those in half, like the bridge way. Good, good girl. Okay, great. And you can rip these as well with your hands, you know? Rip them up a bit, a bit small. If you've got long stalks, that's good. This is good for you, you know? You can eat this stuff, it's healthy. Don't throw it away. You can always rip it. Okay, you happy with that? Have you used garlic yet? No, we haven't. So the reason being is garlic will uh, cook much quicker than the onions. So in general terms, whenever you're cooking and you're using onions and garlic, it's quite good to cook your onions first five or six minutes, then cook your, then throw the garlic in basically because it burns quick. So we're cooking the onions. Let's show everyone how this is starting to look. Okay, so our onions are starting to get a bit of colour to them now. Okay, and you need to you need to cook the onions for a bit, you know, it's not a super super quick one, but you've got to cook them, otherwise they're gonna be crunchy. So onions are there. Um, if you're using mushrooms, these release quite a lot of water, which means when you make your lovely filling and the mushrooms are in there, they're gonna release more liquid and be quite runny. So if you're using mushrooms, throw them in now. Do you want to put them in? Yep. Okay, like that. You might want to add, they soak up moisture as well, so if you want to add a fraction more olive oil, now's a good time. Just a splash. That's it, that's it. Good. Okay. Oh, we've got Kim, Nick, James and Teddy. Hello! Hello. Right, give it a mix. Hello. Good mix. Hello. Okay. So where we are, basically everyone, is you've got your pastry in the oven at the moment, right? That's doing this thing. We've had our chicken soup in a saucepan that's just on a low heat, oh, well, on a low heat, gently simmering away. We used half a tin, okay? Just to thicken it up. If you've got flour, throw a tablespoon onto your chicken. If you haven't, don't worry, we, we haven't, so we're not using it. Okay, so in here, uh, we've fried one onion, and after about five, six minutes, we've thrown our mushrooms in. We've now got garlic, so do you want to scrape that garlic? You might want to use that. All right, put it in. Hands the smell of garlic for a week. Smell your hands. Why didn't you tell me? Well, off the spoon. Oh, there we go. They always get smell. I love it. Okay, so let's stir that round. Right, so we've got our broccoli as well. Let's drop our broccoli in. We've got quite a lot of broccoli. Okay. So we're just frying that down a bit. Um, look, if you like your broccoli really, really soft, okay, cut it smaller, cook it for longer. I quite like it with a bit of crunch to it in the chicken pie. It's, it's an upside down chicken pie, so it's a bit different than normal. Okay, so let's turn that heat down a fraction. Okay, so that's cooking nicely. Right, now we're gonna add our chicken to this. So this is diced, so we're just gonna, good tip, that's what our pan looks like. Move everything to one side, right? So you've got half and half. Put a tiny splash of oil. And then we're going to drop our chicken in there. So let's scrape that in. Okay. So raw chicken straight in the dishwasher. Right. Okay, so let's give this a little stir. We're just going to incorporate that. What can we use if no broccoli? Look, you can use anything you want. You could make it without any vegetables. You could use peas. 
Oh no, we need the ones that have, have, have some vegetables. You can use spinach, you can use bourbon, sweet corn. It's literally whatever you've got in your fridge or freezer that you want to add to this. Um, so, you know, it doesn't matter at all. We've I've just went with broccoli and mushrooms because it was the first thing that came to mind. Uh, can I just check if you can hear me on Instagram? Can you give like a little, yes, we can hear you. We're trying out some mics, and I just want to make sure that uh, it's all working and stuff. Yeah. And they're pucking up. That's cool. They're not yet, they're not. Okay, so. Um, yes, we can. We can. You mix that round for a bit. We're letting that rest for a second. It's cooking. Um, so the thing is, the longer. I, Yes, they can. Oh, yes, you can hear me. Great. Okay, great. Right. So as you move things in a pan, it cools down. Okay. So if you want to cook stuff quicker, don't move it. Don't mess about with it. Just leave it. So now you want to add some flavour to this. So now's a great time to put some salt and pepper on it. So Eva, pinch of salt. Mm -hmm. Put some pepper in there. Okay, good. How many pictures do you want? Now look, if we were making a proper, you know, this is how to cook a chick upside down chicken pie from scratch with all the whistles and bells, I'd say put some bay leaves in there, loads of other bits. But I'm really conscious at the moment of lockdown, it's aggro for people to get to the stores and stuff like that. So at worst case, salt and pepper is great. Um, I've got some dried thyme. I'm going to put some of that in. I said in the instructions you could put some parsley in, so you could drop in some chopped parsley. Um, you could put a bay leaf in it, oregano, whatever you want, right? Um, just to give it a bit of flavour. So is that, that's looking pretty good, isn't it? Right, so your chicken at this stage uh, will be start to turn opaque. Um, you don't need to brown it, don't worry about browning it. We've got loads of flavour going on with the other bits in there. Um, and depending on how big your chunks are, we're going to put our soup in, which is going to cook it a bit more now. So don't worry if it's still a little bit pink. Right, so our soup, let's just show everyone at home. So that's our soup, which we've just had on a, on a low, uh, low temperature. We're now going to pour this into here. Okay. Okay, so that's our chicken soup in there. Who have we got? Uh, Luca, I basically, if you've seen my Instagram today, all three kids I had washing the car. Uh, and then we went out and played football, and I think they're knackered, basically. So Luca has bailed out, and he's currently walking around the house like basically trailer trash. He's got his box shorts on, a string vest, he just needs a can of tenants in his hand. It's terrible. Okay, so we've put our. Um, half a tin of reduced soup into this and this is really quite thick now so let's have a show you what this looks like okay and it's all as soon as you put the soup in there it starts to look like a chicken pie filling so we've got quite a lot of stuff with the broccoli wow. so i'm going to add a little bit more we only used half a tin of soup so this is where you need to eyeball it a little bit okay watch out let's put a little bit more soup in there it's probably about three quarters of the tin done now. Give it a little stir. Okay. Oh, I get so want to just keep touching and doing it myself. It doesn't let in. Okay, good. Are you happy with that? Mm -hmm. Good. Now we're down. Desperate stuff. <laughs> I just want to stir it. I just want to stir it. Okay. So look. Get your soup in there. Actually, let's do the rest of the tin. That's good. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Give it a little stir. God, I really want to <laughs> stir it myself. Did the kids do a good job washing up? Yeah. Yes, they yeah. did. Yes! <laughs> yes, you the did. Boys, the boys played. I know. I know. I was brilliant there. And they were really good. So we don't have I to take the so car for another car wash. Because it was so good. It was so good. I, I know, know, know you're being amazing. I know, I know you're being amazing. I know. Um, okay, right. So, Eva, let's show everyone this, right? Yeah. Because this is basically, you, you're pretty much done now, folks. Remember to keep an eye on your puff pastries. So look, cameraman, can everyone see that? Okay. So look, that is 
are filling. Now, the only thing you need to make sure about is cooked in there is your chicken. So if you use really big chunks, you might want to add a splash of water even, and let that simmer to cook the chicken. If you use quite small pieces, they're probably already done. If you're not sure, take a piece of chicken out, cut it open and have a look. But our one, for the size that we've done, those chicken bits are cooked now. So we're going to take that off the heat. That will thicken as well. Should chicken be cooked, cooked before putting in soup? No, I, I, did, I got a lot of messages about this and I said it's quite a, most people have got in touch. Um, if you wanted to pre-cook the chicken because you didn't want the kids touching it and stuff, totally cool and that's fine. It doesn't make any odds for this. We cooked it from scratch. So once we fried the onions and garlic and we threw the mushrooms in and the broccoli, we pushed everything to one side um, of the pan and we are, oh come here then, come here Luca. Yeah, he he's not naked, he's got his pants on. Okay, right, so now we're gonna assemble it. So actually, I think our puff pastries are done. Let me have a quick look. Please say they're done. And another couple of minutes. Mm. So, let's do this. So, right. Okay, so let me just show everyone at home. So right now, kids, probably in a few minutes for most of you, your puff pastries will be ready to go. Actually, they're done. Let me take them out. Mm. Come on, Luca. No! That is not going to happen. Okay. Oh, come on, Luca. Everyone wants to see Luca. So these what are puff pastries straight out the oven. It's very hot, kids. Do not touch the tray. Come on, Luca, get up. Okay, come now, come on, then. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh, look at this. Okay, one in pants and a vest. Say hi. 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 Okay, right. So this is what we're going to do. Oh, why, why are you making? The, we're making the chicken pie. Stop it. Stop, stop. Why is the stop. chicken pie off again? No, that's it. And the hectic, the chaos increases. Right, so these puff pastries straight out the oven, they're very hot still. So leave them to cool for a few minutes. Now what we're going to do with this, you're going to use a sharp knife. Okay, go to mummy, go to mummy. Right, I'll just show you for the purposes of the camera. You're going to cut sort of a square like that, leaving a little edge around it, okay? Not all the way through the bottom. So put it on there. So Eva, you can do this. Just yep. push the knife in gently. Mm -hmm. It's puff pastry, so it, mm. you don't need to use any effort for this. Yeah. Okay, and I just want to just cut round, nice and gently to make a little square, but not all the way, so you're leaving a wall of puff pastry. Okay? Yeah? Perfect, so that's great. So, We've cut round now. Now, get the kids at home, a couple of things again, push that bit in. Okay, so you push it in like that. There you go, look, we've got, we've got another... One, two, three, four, five. Well, so we've got, uh, that is what we're looking at now. And so look, we've got that pastry was enough to make four of these, and a large one of these. So family of five, Lucas showing us a scribble of something. Good work, son. I don't think he's going to be in retirement fund. Okay, so this is where we assemble. Yeah. That goes on there. Now hold on, Eva. Let's get a smaller spoon. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so what I want to do is be as careful with this. We'll make it nice and neat. I want you to get some of the filling. Okay. If you've got like the broccoli, put the broccoli in first. Okay. Um, Look, and this is where you can, if you like it cheesy, for instance, throw some grated cheese into the bottom of it. Like now, before you put the filling in. Load it up. Oh, thanks, Luca. Great. Luca's wow. behind the camera at the moment. String vest. Holding a bit of paper up with squiggles on it. Bless him. Okay, load it up. Okay, and a bit more. A bit of broccoli on top, I reckon. A bit of broccoli look nice. Okay, go with mushrooms. Oh, Mr. Mirror, not just your dad. Who cares? Put it on. Okay, that up. Uh, perfect, Eva. So, and this, guys, is basically the finale, the gravy. Uh, oh, someone wants gravy. If you want gravy. Excuse me, I love gravy. So let me know. My darling wife, who originates from Liverpool, everything has to come with gravy. And so we've got chicken bisto gravy coming out 
for this as well. But this is basically, for everyone at home, this is our upside down chicken pie. So can everyone see if we hold that? And so there you go, right? So that's done and dusted. Um, yeah. Okay, so, uh, firstly, if I haven't managed to get around to everyone who's put a thing up, I'm really, really sorry. Um, but please comment, we do love it. Um, okay, Friday is chocolate tiffin day, okay? Friday, four o'clock, you know, we're on three times a week, you know all this. Um, and it's Eva's recipe. She's made a chocolate tiffin that she made for breakfast. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. And we all ate it, told her off, then we all ate it. I'm in charge next time. And she's going to be in charge. So this Friday, we're going to be making a chocolate tiffin. All the ingredients are already up on my Instagram, on the link in the bio. Um, and if you're on YouTube watching this, go to theocooks.com and they're all on there. The other thing as well is we've had a great idea and we're going to be announcing something really cool on Friday that you guys can all get involved with, right? So stay tuned on Friday. <laughs> Not you, Luke, I'm behind the cameras. Luke is behind the camera like that. I'm going to get involved! Um, right, so you can all get involved and it's gonna, I'm going to let you know what it is on Friday. Kids, this is especially for you guys, right? It's going to be great. Now I'll tell you, I'm going to go to Friday. Um, so look, please uh, hashtag Kids Cook with Theo. Share this with your friends. Tell your friends and family about it. Let's get people involved. Thank you for watching. That's Say our upside down you. chicken okay. pie. And we'll see you later on. So bye. 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 Okay, how about... Do yeah. I have to... Okay, it's clear. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Yeah,